there was a little switch that went off in my head, and I said, you know what? I need, I, I want to go here, here, here. You know, this is what I want to achieve. I know where I want to go with my life. And in today's society, everything is very video-based. You know, yeah, you can write articles, and it's, it's not a bad idea to write blog posts, you know, and, and all that type of stuff, and write a book, that's great. But video has become so ubiquitous in our society, and I'm like, okay, you know what? You're going to have to get over this and start putting yourself out there in video. And the more I do it, and the more I watch it, and, and you know, I don't want to sound arrogant, but, you know, I watch some of the videos, and I'm like, that wasn't bad. Okay, I'm doing good, you know. And not, not that they're perfect, but it's like, no, that, that's okay. I well, I, I can tell you this. Having lots of bad videos is better than having no videos. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, yeah. And, and I think in our industry specifically, I don't see a lot of it, one, mm -hmm. which really gives us an advantage. And beyond that, what I think is because we are in such an intimate industry, people want to know us. Yeah. So people hit my website, they have some sort of chronic pain, nine times out of 10, when I talk to them in session, they'll mention that they watched some of my YouTube videos. Yeah. And I'll ask them a couple questions just to get more information and say, you know, well, why were you looking for me? And they say, well, I had a problem with sciatica or carpal tunnel, right. one. Um, I looked up massage for you know, leg pain or whatever. Yeah. And then I said, well, what made you want to schedule the session? They're like, well, you had online scheduling, made it easy. Yeah. And then they'll say, I watched some of your YouTube videos and it was very obvious that you were a dedicated professional, you were warm, you knew what you were talking about. And what they just said is, I trust you.